I'm going on a Costco run with my boyfriend. Say hi. And I thought I'd take you along with me because I got a DM from this girl earlier today who was pretty much on the same page as me when it comes to food allergies. So she was asking what I can eat, what's the best brands um, to choose from, and I thought we'll just go shopping together. Quick recap, I have a lot of food allergies, specifically gluten, soy, and tomatoes. Those are my big three per se, and I've been doing really good avoiding them, but what happens when I do eat it is I just get really dry skin. I do get eczema. <laughs> um, and my boyfriend has the same allergies as me. Same, except tomato. I can tomatoes. Except tomatoes. tomatoes. I just hate them. Yeah, but you can have pizza and pasta. He doesn't like raw tomatoes. We're gonna go to Costco. I'm gonna show you the staples that I get there, and we're gonna see if we can find this gluten-free bread. We saw it in Colorado's Costco, and I'm hoping that we can find it here because it's our favorite brand, and it's Costco-sized. Like, it's two loaves of bread for the price of one. And if you've had gluten-free bread before, you know that it's not the most price-effective food for us to get. Our essential ingredients that we need tonight are salmon, because I'm craving some salmon, we have rice at home, and what else did I say? Brussels sprouts, some kind of vegetable. I would love some vegetable. Here's a little insight into how we make dinner, mm -hmm. is in the morning I say, hmm, I think I'm craving this. And then Dar says, I want salmon. We're having salmon. Yeah. Well, he asks me, he says, what do you, what would you like? And I say, I would like this please. And he says, it's done then. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I've mentioned this app a few times. It's called Structured and it has it just keeps my life together because I'm somebody whose brain is all over the place 24/7. Scatterbrained is the name. And I'll just ran randomly remember things that I need so I can go into next week and be like, "Oh, don't forget to plan this. Don't forget to, you know, do any random sets of chores." But I have a Costco list and so far I have ramen. That's a maybe because we still have gluten-free ramen that they sell at Costco. Um, the gluten-free bread and, oh my God, salmon. I only have three things. Eggs, put eggs. eggs on the list. For food allergies, specifically with soy, you cannot have most chocolate. It's because they use an emulsifier called soy lecithin in there. So goodbye to all of the chocolate coated everything. Gluten-free tip. Tequila. Honestly, I don't drink a lot, but tequila has been our best friend. All the prepackaged food, for the most part, avoid because they have gluten and soy in it, but you can always read the ingredients and check yourself. Boom, roasted peanuts, sugar, hydronated vegetable oil, cottonseed, soybean, and rapeseed oil. Skippy, no. Kirkland brand peanut butter. Yes. Last time when we were in Colorado, they had gluten-free bread. Oh, they do. But it's a different brand. Oh, is it? Show it to me. What does that say? Soy. It's not gonna focus. Contains soy. Soy protein? This is bullshit. Fun fact, mayo is another thing that has a lot of soybean oil, but this one from Costco, totally okay. Chosen foods. 100% avocado oil based classic mayo. And it specifically says here soy oil and canola free. Another must. Gluten free crackers. Eat it with anything, everything, like charcuterie boards. So good. Last time we were here, we got the huge box of that. Bring it on over, babes. <laughs> the huge Cheetos pack, and we went through it, just the two of us. Okay, we're in the nuts aisle, and he loves unsalted cashews, but one of my favorite ones is this Power Up Trail Mix pack. There's three varieties in here. Um, two of them are me friendly, meaning it's gluten-free and soy-free, but the other one, which is the antioxidant mix that has chocolate in it, I cannot have, but I give those to my parents anyways. And it's so good, these are like the best snacks. These are my favorite. Those are his favorite, which means the salted ones go Home. away. They get ostracized. I think I'm gonna get this one too. Nuts, great snack. Seaweed snacks, but this one they cover, whatever. But we know we can have it, so this is a yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is too heavy to place on the floor. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna do a haul of all of these things. Quick haul. Guacamole. Kimchi. Lots of fruits and vegetables. We have Brussels sprouts that we're gonna make with our salmon. Keegan's fave unsalted cashews. This, this right here, so good. Oh my God, Super Bowl Sunday. This is what we're eating right here. I always have to recheck the ingredients in case random things change. Still good. <sighs> this one snuck up on me. It was already at the checkout line and I was like, what is that? And he's like, whipped cream. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, that's fair. $5 rotisserie chicken. Gotta check it again. Potato, tapioca, starch. We're all good to go. Nori. Oh, bro, this thing is so good, especially with salmon. Like if you've seen that viral TikTok of like salmon, rice, and whatever, we can have that with this. But instead of soy sauce, you use cocoa aminos. <laughs> Two huge bags of shredded cheese. Are you kidding me? Um, how long did it take us to go through it the first time when we when we got this? Uh, like a month. Okay, it took us a month. And but it's good. I mean, we went to Colorado in between. We did. We could have finished it in three weeks. Cause we have, we usually have like egg sandwiches that Keegan makes in the morning and it's really, really good. Except we don't have, we don't have bread. We didn't get gluten-free bread. They didn't yeah. have Yeah. The, the bread that they had there was soy, had soy in it. Soy mm -hmm. protein. It's just kind of BS. This is the one that I was showing you guys earlier. Peanut butter. Always check the ingredients, especially things that have different kinds of oils in them. This one, super simple. It's just peanuts, dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt. Sometimes you just see them where it just says dry roasted peanuts and that's good. Just know that there will be a little separation because the peanut oil will rise to the top and you're gonna have to like mix it a lot before you actually get to use it. Probably one of my favorite finds at Costco, huge rice ramen. Before they were like for two little ramen packs were $5. This one, how much was this? Rice ramen, $7.99. $7.99 and there's 12, 12 in here. Think about that. I am floored. I love Costco. The power up bars that I'm talking about or power up uh, nuts, just throw it in your bag. Just note that the antioxidant mix you can't have or I can't have because there's soy in it for all my people who are allergic to soy out there as well. Bananas, blueberries, berries, heavy cream. Half and half. Oh, half, yeah, half and half. And then we got chicken breasts and we got eggs down here. Keegan's tuna. Grand finale. Boom. Ta -da! 54 bags of Doritos, Funyuns, and Cheetos. Yum. All of which we can eat because it's usually they use corn instead of like wheat. And so for dinner tonight, Keegan's gonna make, and I'm gonna help him, salmon with rice, and I'm gonna eat it with the nori. But I'm kinda hangry right now, so I'm eating a little bit of the guac. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this, and the gluten-free crackers, just a little bit so that I don't um, get too snappy too quickly. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Overall, successful trip. Just know that there are, even if you have a ton of food allergies, like me, there are a ton of options for you to still get in Costco. Might as well try it. Another item that is heavy in our diets that I didn't see this time around, maybe because I wasn't looking for it, is cocoa aminos. If you have an allergy to soy, this is your replacement for everything. It's not as salty as soy sauce. It's definitely on the sweeter end, but um, this is derived from coconut. So the only ingredients in here is coconut blossom nectar, water, and Balinese sea salt. That's the only thing. I use this in all, in most Asian dishes. And most Asian dishes are like spicy, sweet, salty. But when it comes to the sweet and saltiness, I don't add sugar anymore because this I find has enough sweetness in it. So I just use this as both the sweet and the little bit of saltiness that I get from it. But this one is like just such a huge lifesaver. I use it a lot in Ponset, in adobo, 
and um, this morning I made this kind of like ramen gochujang thing and instead of soy sauce and sugar I used this. If you are looking for a replacement at all, this is your best friend. Alright, I ate a little something something to curb my hunger but Chef Keegan, Keegan's cooking, which, yes. what's on the menu today? Um, big ass salmon. Uh, this is a children's channel. Uh, big salmon. Thank you. Uh, paprika. Uh, I did, instead of a garlic butter, did garlic olive oil mixture here. You can see it's right there. Um, cause Dar doesn't like butter too much. I uh, prefers olive oil over butter, which understandable. Um, and then, uh, oregano and basil, just a little bit. Um, salt and then my favorite thing, smoked sugar. Ooh, just a little bit. Yes. Just a little bit. Brussels sprouts, getting the oven hot. I remember growing up, people were like, I hate Brussels sprouts. They're so disgusting and yucky. But like when I had it, it was not bad. You know what happened is like, I, it might've been in the 2000s, but they just started genetically modifying Brussels sprouts to be good. No joke. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brussels sprouts used to suck because we would eat the crappy strain of it. But now they, they genetically modified it and like crossbred it so they get all the tasty ones. I thought it was because people didn't know how to properly cook it. And I also grew up on bitter melon. So if you don't know what bitter melon is, it's basically a bitter vegetable. Like it's the most not- most bitter thing you'll ever eat. Yeah, most it's- Most bitter thing. Insane. Like his version of bitter was coffee until I showed him bitter melon. And till this day, he still does not like it. And it's one of my favorite vegetables. And I just had it yesterday. And we always, me and my family always joke with him where it's like, oh, we're having bitter melon tonight, Keegan. You want some? And he's like, oh, I got food at home. Like, <laughs> this has turned into a vlog. Shop with me, cook with me, eat with me. So I'm gonna show you the finished results and what we eat on a regular, Thursday night. Yeah. I can't get in Keegan's way when he's cooking because... Because I go everywhere. He'll go everywhere. Like, feet will be stomped on. Monkey 47, a dry gin. Okay, I'm kind of making this up, but we'll start with our gin and okay. our big ice. Honestly, you could probably drink this on the rocks. You know, I've become accustomed to drinking gin more now. Gin and tequila because we can't have like almost all dark liquors. This is lemon. Lemon. Let's add a little bit more. Is it good? Give it a taste. Uh. Add a splash of water, let's see. Yeah. Yep, yummy! Oh my goodness! I love me some salmon! Cheap balsamic vinegar. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, yes. My mouth is watering. Do you want to know what I contributed? The rice! And it's still cooking. Fun fact, I don't know how to cook rice without the rice cooker. No idea. The hair is up. I'm ready to eat. Are you ready for the reveal? Yes. Oh. Sorry. Oh my God. Just, it looks so good. How does it taste? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, chef. Pretty good. Okay. We did it. You got your drink. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Overall, really successful day. Cheers. Ooh. Mm-hmm. The oregano. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Get you a man that can cook. Thank you, babe. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.